fourth all-time matchup between Chicago State and Cal State Northridge is just about underway here on a beautiful Tuesday night at the Jones Convocation Center. Alongside my good friend Max Toma, I am Sam Brief. And Max, this is an interesting matchup between two teams who struggled last year, who are coming off of a win and looking to keep a win streak going. Yeah, both teams coming off their first win of the season and getting that in true road game fashion, right? You got a Northridge team coming in under a new coach, ton of new faces out there. And Chicago State, remember last year, they never lost a game at home. They lost their first game at home this year. They're trying to return to winning ways here on the south side of Chicago. Gerald Gillian watched his team blossom in the first half to the tune of 41 points in a win at Southern Indiana on Sunday. Meanwhile, CSUN, under the guidance of first-year head coach Andy Newman, they got a comeback win against Idaho, like Max said, on the road on Thursday. These two programs have met three times. Chicago State, one win. Cal State, Northridge, two wins. And now, both teams look to start a winning streak on a Tuesday night in Chicago. And wherever you're joining from, it's a delight to have you with us. So to set the table, this Cal State, Northridge team, a lot of newcomers, 11 players are new. Last year, just seven wins, 25 losses. So good to have some fresh blood down in L.A. 
Top of the key, this is Deontay Bostic on a drive with five to shoot. Their top scorer, Deshaun Allen Eikens, with a travel, and the Cougars force an early turnover. Yeah, he's having a great year. He was phenomenal on an almost win, and their opener on the road at Stanford. They had a late lead. They're up by fourth, less than three minutes left in that game, but let it slip away. Also, how often do you see a team start their season with three straight true road games? That's exactly what CSUN is doing at Stanford, at Idaho, and now at Chicago State. Corbett has it, hands off to Green, the Atlanta native, who dishes back to Deshaun. A baseline shots in and out, rebound cleared by De'Aaron Tucker, the transfer from Indiana State. This is Bostic keying the offense against a Cougar defense that gave up just 67 against Indiana State. And a block, it goes to Barnett. 15 to shoot, we'll keep you posted on that. I know you don't see the clock on the score bug right now as Tucker drives, weaves his way through, put backs off. Tucker, third time no good, and a rebound for Corbett. Uh, Tucker, a couple of point blank opportunities and huge offensive rebounds, you gotta convert there. In the corner, Brent Davis, can't connect. Rebound, tip to Keontae Jones, fresh off his first collegiate double-double at Idaho. Barnett with a beautiful pass down low. Tucker converts, breaking the early ice. They're not going to miss it this time. Tucker right at the rim. He was a guy who played in all 32 games for the Matadors last year. Made 22 starts, all at the center spot. Huge size, great length, and versatility. Moves well defensively. Six foot 10, 225 out of Dallas. This is Wes Cardet, Chicago State's best player. Beautiful cut, Davis. He found him. Davis rejected at the rim. Rim, and it's CSUN basketball, two minutes in, still no points for Chicago State. Great defense from Deontay Bostic, who brings such tremendous energy. Looks, get over there in a hurry, and it's all ball with the swan. He had four steals on the road at Idaho last time out. Twisting around, Jones was fouled by Ked Green, and Ked is whistled for the first Chicago State foul. Max, something you're watching in the first five minutes as Coach Gillian and Coach Newman get their teams under control? Oh, well, I'll tell you the, the change in the lineup for Andy Newman's side is Keontae Jones coming in, the six foot six junior from Madison, Wisconsin. The lone change to the starting five. I think coming into this game, not even knowing he was going to start, he was going to be one of the key players to watch because which Keontae Jones are we going to get? The one from the Stanford game where he didn't play much, didn't feature too much offensively, as there's a travel, or the one versus Idaho who scores 16 points, played almost every minute off the bench. But so far, Jones with one good, one bad. The rebound. A possession to go, and then to travel this possession. I mean, how often do you see a guy come off the bench and go play 34 minutes? Tack a double-double on the road against Idaho. This is Cardet, top of the key, straight off of his best game of the season. And he cans a mid-range shot to tie us at two. Wesley Cardet Jr., a second-round NBA draft pick, according to current projections. He's one of the most talented players in college basketball. And the Cougars rode him hard to the win Sunday at Indiana State. And there's a beautiful response. Deontay Bostic up and under for the deuce. Yeah, beautiful move and finish. A guy who was just 3 for 10 from the field in their win, their lone win on the road. But soft touch right at the window. That was hanging on the edge of the rim for a while. Jones whistled for a foul, so he's got a board, a travel, and a foul. Active start for the 6'6 junior from Madison. I like Keontae Jones' game. He, he is fearless. He's gonna get downhill, he's gonna get at you with speed, and his float game is tremendous. Nice pass into Jashawn Corbett. Green triggers a three, and he hits his first three-pointer of the season. This is another guy who's been coming on, right? Didn't play in the opener, but all of a sudden, he's playing 33 minutes last time out and playing very well with 10 points and eight assists. Into the corner for Jared Barnett. Knife's inside, met by a brick wall of defense. Now backing up, this is Jasmine Sanga, and he bullies his way to an early bucket. 
Yeah, Sanga has a five-inch height advantage there. It was pretty strong defense most of the time there for Brett Davis, but Sanga kind of just having his way there, who had 12 points off the bench. Two double-digit scorers against the Bengals on the road coming off the bench. Sanga's the a transfer. Texas A&M Corpus Christi, one of 11 newcomers to coach Andy Newman's team. Corbett, a miss on the three. Second rebound cleared by Jones. Quick the other way. CSUN, little too quick, and their second turnover of the evening. Yeah, hopefully there's somebody at home keeping track of every time you or I say the word transfer today, because especially on the Cal State Northridge side, I mean, just about everybody on this roster is new in the last two years. Yeah, even their coach, Andy Newman, he's pretty much a transfer coach. But Ken Green hits his first three, and we step aside here in Chicago. It's game day at Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs> Set your future in motion at Chicago State University with over 70 degree and certificate programs, ample scholarship opportunities, and a vibrant campus life. Chicago State University is Chicago's number one most affordable public university with a diverse faculty, small class sizes, and almost 50 student organizations, including NCAA Division I athletics. At Chicago State, we provide you with the tools you need to succeed. Visit csu.edu forward slash admissions to learn how you can earn your first year of tuition free. Born in March. Back in Chicago where it's a one-point CSUN lead, and this was the transfer from Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Jasmine Sanga bullying his way to a bucket as these new-look Matadors lead the Cougars early in Chicago. He's been doing that early and often so far this year. Sanga comes in 11 of 15 from the field, shooting 73%. There's so many guys on this roster that are veterans and well-traveled. This is, for him, it's stop number four. A year at Pensacola State, a year at Garden City Community College the last two at Texas A&M Corpus Christi. He missed one with injury. He missed 14 games the last 14 of the year for a team that made the NCAA tournament and now year for one. Year one for him in California. Geographically, pretty much running the gamut of the United States. Jasmine Sanga, one of those 11 newcomers, including eight transfers to join the first Matador squad under their new head coach, Andy Newman transfer himself I guess he came over from Division II Cal State San Bernardino and his team's up one looking for back-to-back -back road wins as they start their 2023 campaign Green a handoff to Cardet three ball can't drop rebound goes to Bostic top returning scorer for CSUN Bostic shimmying up the court met by Green handing to Brinson who just checked in Jordan Brinson came over from Salt Lake Community College, throws it right to Cardet, third turnover for the Matadors. And that's his first action, first possession of the season for him. Turns it over at Cardet, turns it into two, maybe three. And one for Wes Cardet, the hesitation move, and then he just knifes inside. Here's that killer instinct for the second year Cougar. He's got so many moves in the tool bag. He can take your left, he can take your right, he can take it off the dribble, do straight action with his power. He can step back, fade away too. This time, strong drive with that left hand. And he's so tough at the rim. He's a guy who, you make contact with him, he's probably going to get that hand one, right? Because he's got the physicality to go through the contact. Six foot six, but with a seven two wingspan. And we see that on plays like that, right? Wes Cardin, phenomenal player out of South Florida. No good off the front end, but Davis was right there. Kind of extra effort that'll keep your coach happy. 15 on the shot clock, Cougars by one. Green on the drive, met by Sanga and a foul. First one on Sanga, third for CSUN. Chicago State with an 11 point win Sunday at Southern Indiana. Wes Cardet led the way with 23 points. Cougars were plus 10 in turnovers. Max, I know you have your eye on the turnover battle tonight. Cardet a three. Cardet misses strong. Rebound Bostic. Yeah, 11 turnovers too. I mean, the Screaming Eagles had 21. They were plus 10 in a single game, and the turnover battle, that was huge. 
And, and a big reason why is Carnet Jr.'s defense. Here's Bostic knifing in. Offensive foul. That's two travels and an offensive foul already. Sort of messy start for the Matadors. Yeah, the Matadors, they started all four from the field. They have still technically hit their last three field goals, but it's coming over a very lengthy yeah, stretch of time because like they have five turnovers already. I mean, five turnovers to zero right now in favor of the home team. So Cougars now are at plus 16 in the turnover battle in their last two. Green to Gene Charles, and now back to Cardet, Chicago State's top ball handler. One on one with Allen Eikens. Reset the offense with 12 to shoot. AJ Neal just checked in, he gives it up. Now to Corbett, six to shoot. Mano a mano with Sanga. Up and under, no. There was a foul though. It's against the Matadors and it's the second on Sanga. So Chicago State, Max gets a fresh 20. Yeah, big call early because Sanga's had a couple in the last few sequences here, but the effort from Kendrick Green we've already seen a few times now. And crashed in the glass. Guy with not tremendous size, but just 100% effort guy. The bottom left corner of your screen, Greg Spate just checked in. Seven minutes, no points in the opener against Bowling Green. We've barely seen him this year. He's at the bottom of your screen as Green hits his second three of the night. Comes right off the screen, eager, e eager, I should say, to get it up. The man who continues that possession on the offensive glass, immediately rewarded with the triple. Allen Eikens for the response. Backs up against Corbett. Pocket picked, but foul called. Whistled against a Cougar, and seems it's against Green, it is. So yeah, Green will take a seat. Just a little bit over anxious. I think that's his second foul. But love the mentality and the aggressiveness defensively. So Barnett will throw in one of those transfers. He comes from San Diego State. He was part of a team that went to the final national runner-up last season as a Cougar foul will lead to free throws. San Diego State Aztec team went to the national title game, losing to UConn. And Barnett was a part of that squad before coming over to CSUN. Free throws here for Allen Eikens. And nobody was taking that UConn team down last year, but no. For Cal State Northridge, the interesting thing about eight transfers, you mentioned 11 new faces. There's plenty of guys with not only tournament experience on this team, but uh, whose teams made runs to the Elite Eight or the national title game, right? And you mentioned, obviously, uh, last year with San Diego State, but, you know, Hunt and Tucker were both on that Oregon State Beavers team that made the incredible run, winning the Pac-12 tournament, getting in at the last second, and then making it all the way to the Elite Eight in 2021. Some pretty surprising teams that made deep runs and a lot of that experience coming to Cal State Northridge. 13.45 to go first half. We'll keep you posted on the time while you don't have it. As Cardet weaves his way back to the top of the key, met by Mahmoud Fofana. Nice pick and roll play. Jernigan was stripped but fouled, and he will head to the line. The foul's called on Jordan Brinson, and there's a look at the guilty party. Jordan Brinson didn't feature in either of the team's first two games, but he's kind of a good indication of where the guys on this team have come from, right? Because this is school five in year five for the six foot two. Technically junior on paper from Inglewood, California. Yeah, but it feels like we should call him a super, super senior. <laughs> Everybody's Cameron got bonus Jernigan years also days. transfer. Yeah, I mean, you've got like 18th year seniors. <laughs> Jernigan's a transfer from Cowley Carl College, which is down in Arkansas City, Kansas. One of those fun cities that has the name of a state that's not the state it's in. You think Michigan City, Indiana, not far from your stopping grounds. And top of the key here is Bostic, resetting things. Bostic gets rid of it. Outside right, Janga, and around the perimeter, eight to shoot for the Matadors. Bostic, step back, 10-footer, tough as nails for Deontay Bostic. That's an incredible move. He's got a size disadvantage, kind of just a turnaround spin move, creates some space, fading away from the hoop, able to drill it. 
Neal now met by Barnett. Gives it up to Gene Charles. This is Neal. Screen from Jernigan. Whips it. Cardet, a three ball. Off to the right. Rebound tips around, and it ends in Cougar hands. Brent Davis with phenomenal effort from Gene Charles. Brent Davis, that's why I was thinking about him being a, a player to watch out there today. The ticker uh, is just incredible. Plays out there with so much heart on every possession. Eight to shoot, Gene Charles three. It's strong. He's had a rough shooting go in the last week. Fofana scooping the board, brings it up himself. Now to Brian Chonga, first look at him. Barnett, the Aztec transfer, resetting things with 17 on the shot clock. Nice early rhythm has become near another media timeout. From the free throw line, it's Jared Barnett and a one point game. Gotta love the mid range jump shots the last couple of trips down the floor. Jared Barnett, yeah, you need him to, to score in well. And that was a beautiful shot. Only four points in his first game, had six assists. He's been a great facilitator, great rebounding guard, but gotta score a little bit more. Jernigan off the pick and roll, one on one with Tucker, left it short. And the rebound to Jonga. Barnett entered today, shooting 17.5% from the field. Fofana leaves it short. Foul call on Chicago State. It's against Neal. We'll have free throws coming for Fofana on the other side of this timeout. 11 minutes, 36 seconds to go. Cougars by one. Two teams looking to start a winning streak on a Tuesday night in Chicago. Pon en marcha tu futuro en la Universidad Estatal de Chicago con más de 70 programas de grado y certificaciones. Numerosas oportunidades de becas y una vida universitaria vibrante. La Universidad Estatal de Chicago es la universidad pública más asequible de la ciudad con un cuerpo docente diverso y grupos pequeños de alumnos. En la Universidad Estatal de Chicago te brindamos las herramientas que necesitas para triunfar. Visita csu.edu diagonal admissions para saber cómo puedes conseguir gratis la matrícula de tu primer año. At the Chicago State University College of Pharmacy, discoveries happen daily and students become industry leaders. If you are looking for a rewarding profession combining patient care, scientific research, and opportunities to give back to your community, CSU is an exceptional place to prepare with 3,000 square feet of state-of-the-art lab and research facilities and renowned faculty. No bachelor's degree is required. Learn more about CSU's College of Pharmacy by visiting csu.edu slash college of pharmacy and back in chicago with the chicago state team leading by a point and dominating the turnover battle so far forcing five committing zero max toma that's got to be the key so far yeah absolutely and it's a chicago state team but in the losses the turnovers uh, were kind of blossoming on their end but last time out on the road in a tough environment down in south central indiana near the kentucky border they were able to do a great job on defense control the ball much more they're a team that's going to play a little bit slower cal state northridge under first year head coach andy newman wherever newman's been they love the run and gun they're going to score a ton of points this team's scoring nearly 76 points a game chicago state they're scoring 60 points a game. They play a little bit slower, but controlling the ball well. Andy Newman, the first-year head coach of the Matadors, he came from a Cal State San Bernardino program that scored a program record 3,094 points last season. It's that running gun style, but he's now got to take that up to the Division I level. And tonight, met by the tenacious defense. Chicago State looking for back-to-back -back wins as they face the Matadors for the first time since 2008. Chicago State win 83 to 75 in January of 08. Here we are 15 years later. And the crazy thing is, I mean, right now after this break, Cal State Northridge, they're down by a point. They got a chance to go take the lead, but they haven't missed a shot from the field in seven minutes and three seconds. Not since 1839 left in the first half, but they've only had five shots from the field since then. Mahmoud Fofana hits the free throw. Cal State, Northridge looking a bit choppy thanks to turnovers, but hey, you hit all your shots, you'll probably win. And Fofana misses the back end rebound, Allen Eikens, and he gets fouled by Gene Charles going up. Deshaun Allen Eikens, he's been really aggressive crashing the glass, and here's that foul. Yeah, I think there might have been a couple fouls yeah. there. Hit him on the arm on the first time through, and then up on the shot gets hit again. 
Out of contact is Alan Eikens, returner who originally transferred from the University of New Orleans. Started all 32 games last year, leading the way this year with 20 points a game. And CSUN with its first lead in a while, now in the midst of a 6-0 run. Make it 7-0 as Alan Eikens hits both. We Look the other way, here are the Cougars. We talked about the turnover battle. Alan Eikens had three last time out, but in that close loss where they were leading late at Stanford, he had seven turnovers that time. Too many. Here's Arno. Davis to Gene Charles in the corner. With 10 to shoot, makes his move. The spin, the pass to Cardet. Wes Cardet finds Arno in the corner. Arno with a 15-footer, a little strong. Rebound to Bostic, and it's a five on four since Corbett took a fall. Bostic weaves in, that's a nice move. And Deontay Bostic has six. The body control, the ball fake, just got Cardet Jr. to shuffle his feet just a little bit towards the corner. Easy layup. And too much shuffling it means the bucket. It means a 9-0 Matador run. If you're a CSUN fan, probably smiling right now. And Cardet says turn that smile upside down, hitting his first three of the night. And that's what he can do. He can make it from the moment he steps across half court. He can pretty much hit from anywhere. Nice give and go, and Sanga hits his second shot. There's the Matador response. And now we're talking seven of the last seven. Cal State Northridge from the field, and that's just too easy if you're Jared Gilliard's squad. This is getting ridiculous. They're hitting 60% of their shots so far. As Gene Charles has a little height mismatch here on Barnett. Double team gets it to Davis. Cardet finds Arnaud, wide open Davis. He can hit it, and he does. Rattles it home, we're tied. Great ball movement. It looked like Arno almost got going a little bit too early from the corner, but able to reach back, snatch it, and then find the open man at the top of the key. Fofana on the drive, gets it stripped. Six turnovers for CSUN. Arno to Davis, another one. This time strong, and Fofana clears the glass. Under 10 to go in the first half, all tied. Fofana, nice speed dribble, and Mahmoud with the finish. And that's just simply too easy, getting all the way to the rim again. Fofana, a guy who came over with Andy Newman from Cal State, San Bernardino. Cardet on Fofana, around to Davis. A line change getting ready to come in for CSUN. Good ball movement for Chicago State. Cardet the three, left it short, and the rebound cleared by Allen Eikens. Yeah, good ball movement, but great rotation defensively too. Not too much of an open look for Garnett Jr. Trapped in the corner, Allen Eikens bails himself out, calling timeout. Clock stopping at 8.49. And we'll keep it here with CSUN leading by two. So for Chicago State, we look back at what we've seen so far. Back-to-back -back losses to start the season. We last saw them here in a nail-biter loss to Mercer. What was most different in watching what they did against the Screaming Eagles of Southern Indiana? 11 points win on Sunday, Max. Well, I just think, I mean, uh, the offensive flow was better. They got off to a better start out of the gate, which was so important because they played well versus Mercer, but they kind of dug themselves a hole they never got out of, right? There was a game that for 40 minutes they never had a single lead, even never. though it felt tight the whole way. Well, they went on the road in Southern Indiana. They were down. It was 3 nothing early, and then they quickly were up 10-3, and it was never relatively close. Again, they just smacked them. It was a 25-point lead with 90 seconds left in the first half all of a sudden. Well, today the defense has been strong, and uh, quite frankly, they've really struggled to shoot the ball this year. They're struggling to shoot today, 32% to Northridge's 67, but the turnover battle is already plus six because they haven't turned it over yet, and that's been crucial for the Cougars here in the early stages. So plus six in turnovers, but they are allowing the Matadors to hit eight of their last eight from the floor. Tight defense, and wow. A.J. Neal takes a spill. He deflects that out. I don't know how that wasn't a foul on Jordan Brinson. He followed through and clocked him right in the face. I mean, that's that's three feet away, the ref from, I mean, that's got to be a foul. You see the Chicago State bench reaction predictably saying, come on. And now the officials 
are discussing. And I believe we will have a review to see if there's anything flagrant. I don't think there was a ton of contact maybe no. to warrant a review up top, but anytime there is kind of contact up to the head and neck shoulder area, uh, you get why they go over to it. But I mean, live to the naked eye, especially when it happens to the home team and right in front of the home team's bench. Is that a reaction? I mean, you hear the boo birds, you see the reaction of the bench, and you figure, all right, we'll review things, but I think these two are about to see there's nothing flagrant. Yeah, might have gotten poked away as he was moving the ball forward, and then that right hand just kind of hits the face on the follow through. But they're going to have official number three come over and take a look, and that generally means they have an opinion made, and they're trying to see if this is going to be a, a full consensus. Majority opinion or unanimous, that's what they're determining right now as it's 8.44 left in the first half. Got the band rocking on a Tuesday night in Chicago. It's the last Chicago State home game before the trip to Cancun. I don't know about you, a little that's a jealous. Nice trip. Yeah. They get to go to Cancun, face off against Southern Illinois in the Cancun Challenge. They come back on the 25th. All right, no flagrant, no foul call, and CSUN's going to throw in. So Brinson triggers to Bostic, and Chicago State comes out in his own defense here, switching things up, and foul away from the ball in the teeth of that zone. First whistle on Cameron Jernigan, the Gary, Indiana native. And this is six fouls now for both teams, so everybody's in the bonus moving forward for the final 8.38. It's also now 10 minutes since the last missed field goal. For the real time, it's about 20 minutes. Yeah. I, mean, I feel like a different man now than last time I saw him miss. Tucker collects, make it nine consecutive makes for CSUN. An unprecedented run. Yeah, they're just getting everything they want. It's coming out of the half-court offense, too. They're not getting out and running, which is in their half-court sense. They're getting it down to Tucker down low, right on the block. Allen Eikens as well. Corbett at the left block. Nice spin move, but he left it short. Rebound Brinson. Here come the Matadors. Looking for 10 straight makes. You got it. And one. Keontae Jones converts. And CSUN is white hot. Well, just after I said they haven't been getting out and running and out in transition. Well, nice pass laid off here for Brinson. Some long steps there from Keontae Jones, who played so well last time out and gets his first bucket and points of the night. Timeout in Chicago, where CSUN hasn't missed a shot in forever. Back after this. It's game day in Raising Canes. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Canes chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. circled Keontae Jones before this game and he converted an and one for the 10th consecutive Matador make. Yeah, it's been a wild start here for the Matadors offense, which has been completely in sync, made their last 10 field goals. They're on a 6-0 spurt right now. Chicago State trying to absorb it. They had at least not allowed Northridge to get out and run until that previous possession. But, uh, I mean, you got to love the offense we've seen from the visitors. They've been getting just about every shot they want in the lane. 
But how about, Max, the fact that they've been picky, they've been choosy about what they shoot. 18 points in the paint and no shots from behind the arc. Yeah, the paint battle is 18-2 right now in favor of Cal State Northridge, and it's got to be an emphasis. Both these teams really have struggled from beyond the perimeter with the shooting. Chicago State coming in shooting well below 30% from deep. Cal State Northridge only shooting 32% from three. They have not attempted a single three-pointer today. They haven't needed it. They missed their first shots, first four shots. They've made their next 10. You have two teams doing completely different things. Chicago State, no turnovers. CSUN, seven. Chicago State, 12 three-point attempts. CSUN, zero. Rebounding battle is also 16 to three in favor of the Matadors. Just two completely different styles of play. Clashing in Chicago, and Jones hits the free throw. Seven point lead, and a sub brings Fofana in for Jones. Yeah, this 12 minutes, it might be the most starkly contrasted 12 minutes I've ever seen between two it's like teams. two different sports. This is Ked Green who's hit two of those threes for Chicago State. The Atlanta native mano a mano with Brinson. Davis now to Cardet. Wes, who's often the catalyst for the CSU offense, finds Davis prodding a bit with six to shoot. Back to the hoop, he finds Corbett. Three to shoot. Jashaw, nice spin move, and he converts off the glass. Yeah, great spin. Deontay Bostic reaches in here and gets all ball, but he's still able to power right through it and put it up off the window. CSUN has made its last 10 field goals against a 2-3 Chicago State zone. Let's see what they draw up. Brinson to Allen Eichen, scoring 20 a game this year. Brinson on the drive. He left it short. First time in 10 minutes they've missed. But Allen Eichen's on the glass. Clock stopping. I don't see a foul call yet. Could be a shot clock issue. The miss by Fofana, the first CSUN miss in about 25 minutes of real time. And now the officials conferencing with Andy Newman and the scorer's table. Newman just put his, put his elbows right on the scorer's table and put his hand right in his hands. He, he did not like this whistle that kind of came out of nowhere. I think checking on the shot clock. Yeah, shot clock was at 18. And Al Likens had, had just gotten an offensive rebound. So I don't think that was the issue. Well, they're going to figure it out. Meanwhile, CSUN just got its first miss in about 10 minutes max. The, ne the next statistical anomaly I will track, how long until the Matadors attempt a three? They still haven't. Yeah, you have to imagine that the, the emphasis of practice has been, hey, we're not shooting the three ball well. If we're going to get our shots at the rim, let's just continue to go up at the rim. So here's that last play, Allen Eikens, little hesitation move. Whistle blew, no foul was called, and now they're at the table, so we're... I don't know if there was something away from the ball. It looked like they were kind of looking at that near side corner. They're I think he's... Figuring it out. Let's see. Oh, it and didn't it hit the rim on the initial shot. I think they're going to put the shot clock at two. First shot doesn't hit the rim. Doesn't hit the rim. I think that's what we're working on. The tough thing is here for Cal State Northridge, they had a prime opportunity to get a good look at the buster there. You cracked the code. Good detective work, Max Tomum. And now Brinson's going to inbound two to shoot. A five-point lead for CSUN. Brinson finds Bostic. Quick trigger. Off to the left, that's the first three-point attempt of the day for the Matadors, and it was a desperation look. Green finds Davis on a beauty of a cut and fouled by Tucker. That puts Chicago State into bonus territory. Yeah, right after they get the rebound, they sprint the floor. Beautiful bounce pass, almost yeah. a little look variety at a height disadvantage, but able to draw the foul. Brent Davis who's really been putting the body on the line the entire half. Chicago State's already shown us 10 different players in this game. One of them, Davis, who has three points and make it four. Davis transfer from the Citadel. Started 19 games last year. Now 
with Coach Gillian, who's in his third season at Chicago State. CSUN and CSU. Only an N differentiating these two and a few miles. And if you squint your eyes, you really can't see that red N on the, the CSUN jersey, so it looks like CSU. Same thing. Same thing. We got to get Colorado State in here next and do a little tournament for the CSUs. Nice feet down low to Sanga. 17 to shoot, Jasmine Sanga, big body, but he finds nothing in Cordette the board. Chicago State down a possession. Gene Charles thought about it. Cardet gets a screen. On the pick and roll to Corbett. Now wide open, Gene Charles. He's over two from beyond the arc. And it's out on Davis. Brent does not agree. It's CSUN ball. It looked live like it was last touch by Davis, and he's just everywhere, though. Getting hands in the passing lane, getting hands on loose 50-50 balls. Davis, fourth year playing college basketball. Coach Gillian said, I want him to step up defensively. I think you're seeing a lot of that tonight, Max. Now, he's really stepping up on both sides, considering how well he played offensively last time out in the win versus Southern Indiana, too. In the corner, it's a Bostic fake, and it ends up with Allen Eikens, and he'll make a trip to the charity stripe. Chicago State foul, whistled against Gene Charles. Looks like Jernigan's getting set to check in. Am I missing a CSU for our little tournament? We could have CSUN, Chicago State, Colorado State. I was trying to think as you were going through it of another one. Oh, Coppin State. There you How about go. That? Coppin, nice, nice. Coppin State. That's a deep cut. There we go. Four team tournament. Allen Eikens nursing a three point lead. 20 point a game scorer hits the second. Cleveland State. There we go. Now we're back to an odd number. The Vikings. Got to keep working at it. Cardet to Corbett. Green has two threes today. And now with a baseline drive, that's a beauty of a pass to Neal. And he's strong on the three. Cardet offensive board. Jernigan with two hands, no. Got his own board. Foul against CSUN. Looks like Barnett's whistled for it. Indeed. And Jernigan free throws next. Yeah, foul on the floor, so it's going to be a one and one. But I think that might have been the pass of the day so far. Kendrick Green, beautiful find on the opposite wing. And now it's Jernigan to the stripe. Six points and eight boards a game. Cam Jernigan coming up from Gary's West Side. Went down to Cowley College in Arkansas City, Kansas. And now to Chicago State to play D1 hoops. Not too far from his hometown of Gary. Five minutes, 23 seconds on the clock. Jernigan leaves it off the front end. Fofano's right there. And here comes this quick moving Matador team. Allen Eikens bullies his way in. It's an offensive foul. Turnover number seven for the Matadors. Yeah, there's nothing to like about that possession from Deshaun Allen Eikens. Just in his hands the entire 90 feet here. Just dribbling, 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 dribbling. And then leaning in with that right arm. He's got an open man in the corner. Uh, any possession where you get into your half-court offense, but there's not a single pass in the possession, probably not going to be a solid one. Meanwhile, 15 minutes into this game, still no turnovers for Chicago State compared to seven for CSUN. Yeah, and this is one of those things where it's, you either say the Matadors are shooting 30% better, how are they only up by three, or Chicago State. There's a the turnover. Right, there you go, on cute. No turnovers for this long, and how are they down by three? It almost feels like a basketball experiment. Is it better to shoot really well, but turn the ball over a lot, or barely turn the ball over, but shoot poorly? Well, right now, it's about 50-50. It's, it's a one possession game. CSUN leads and has the ball in the Black Road kits. Corner three ball, Bostic nails it. First three of the night for the Matadors belongs to Deontay. Yeah, he 
He's struggled from the field so far this season. Just shooting just 30 percent, but he's solid from beyond the arc. He's wide open and to let it fly. Doubles the lead. That's their first made three and only their second attempt. Cardet with a carve dribble, fadeaway jumpers short, and Fofana another board. He's been really active with four boards. The drive, the scoops way off. And Tucker couldn't get the put back. What can Height do for you, though? Just getting the offensive rebound after a wayward shot. I'm not even sure he jumped to get that offensive rebound. That just sort of snared it. Here's a quick speed dribble for Green. Bounced out. He was fouled. And free throws for Kendrick. The head of steam here for the Georgia native Green. I got the reach in, I was like from Bostic. Chicago State struggle with shooting. They haven't made a field goal in their last three minutes and 11 seconds. They've only made one of their last eight from the field, but doing a nice job of getting the line the last few trips down the court. This is the front end. Green, born in the Bronx, raised in Atlanta, high school in Florida, and now college in Chicago. He's been all over the map as Keontae Jones checks back in, replacing Fofana. It's a little more speed on the court for Andy Newman's team. Meanwhile, Chicago State hitting just one of its last eight shots, sort of in a rut right now, and Green doesn't help him, going 0 for 2 at the line. Allen Eikens for the response, finds Brinson in the corner. Next whistle will be a timeout with four minutes left. Bostic shimmying for space. Finds Tucker. De'Aaron with the turn. The shot's off. And the rebound cleared by Davis. Those active hands for 12 and Gray. A good interior post bounce pass, but could not finish. Long three ball. Rattles in, out, in, and then back out for, for Neal. Green kind of tackled Brinson. Brinson went flying, and a foul will send us to a timeout. 3.35 left first half. CSUN by six on a Tuesday in Chicago. It's game day at Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs> Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. Chicago, where CSUN and Chicago State are going at it for the fourth time in their program histories alongside Max Toma and our championship crew, Sam Brief, with you. Hope you're doing well tonight. So, Max, this CSUN team, it's really interesting. A lot of true road games early in the season, still exploring their identity with 11 new players. What have you seen in terms of their identity tonight? Well, it's been crazy because, I mean, you talk about they missed their four, first four shots, then they make 10 in a row. Well, since then, they've struggled again, one of seven. They've done a great job of, for a team that doesn't have a ton of size, even if it might be a little bit of a sight advantage for them on the road versus Chicago State, of getting into the teeth of the defense, working it into the block on both sides. They've been getting to the free throw line a lot now, too. We probably thought coming in they'd shoot more threes than they have. Their uh, identity maybe still working itself out here with 11 new players, but a team that's going to be a high-scoring team uh, in the Big West all season long, coming off a, a struggle of a season. New regime, very new-looking team, and they're building some chemistry here in the month of November on the road. They were picked 10th out of 12 teams in the Big West this year. Went 7-25 and 25 last year with only four conference wins. So you usher in a new coach, Andy Newman, a California coach already at the D2 level, coming in 
to CSUN for his first year, really laying down his roots as one of his transfers, Jordan Brinson, is at the line, just received his NCAA transfer waiver to play immediately after coming over from Fresno State. So season debut as the Cougars have it down six, 3.30 left. It's Noble Crawford to A.J. Neal. And a whistle, a block foul going against Bostic. And Deontay whistled for the second. Right, let's see what this lineup looks like going forward, too, for Chicago State because Kendrick Green has played major minutes, like 33 last time out. He's been very active today. Picked up his third foul before we went to break there. Also, a key player off the bench, A.J. Neal, coming off a season-high seven points last time out. He's also got three fouls here in the first half. So watching the foul trouble, meanwhile, for CSUN, no players with three as Noble Crawford drops it in. Transfer from Long Island University. Went to West Oaks Academy in Orlando like so many of Coach Gillian's recruits. And in so many ways, Coach Gillian is one of the kingpins of youth and high school basketball in South Florida, which is why so much of this roster comes from the Sunshine State. Crawford out of Deltona, Florida. Two for two that trip. Here's Brinson, he's a California kid, and most of this roster is made up of those Cali kids. Alan Eikens with a spin, finds Fofana. Bostic on the drive, one on two left it short. Fight for the board, Sanga got it. And now seems jump ball, and it is Chicago State ball. Possession arrow to the Cougars. A great smothering defense whenever Chicago State really, or when Cal State, Northwich, excuse me, with the CSUs. They get a little confused. confused. Losing the ball yep. on drives, though. I'll forgive you tonight and tonight only. The offenses have slowed down a little bit. It's been a bit more stop and start with a lot of trips to the free throw line. No field goals made in four and a half minutes plus now for the Cougars. And combined, these two teams have hit two of their last 17 shots. So it's been a pretty messy couple minutes as Corbett's one-on-one -on -one with Sanga. He goes up with the left and kisses it off the glass. And if you're Sanga, you can't fall for that fake, especially when he goes right, you bite on that. He's gonna spin back to the left. That's where he wanted to go, and that was just too easy. 2.30 to go, first half. An important two-minute stretch as Brinson speeds up and now pulls up at the right wing. To Allen Eikens. Bowls over Gene Charles, no call. Sanga's there for the putback, and it's back to a two-possession game. Sanga's first rebound of the day puts it right back up in it. Just a great second look after the missed layup. CSUN more than doubling up CSU in the rebounding battle, 24 to 11. This is Wes Cardet, left hand, he twirls it in. How'd he get that to drop? Nine points. It's just so impressive. He could take absolutely anybody at any time. You don't need to run good plays sometimes for him. Doesn't need his set, he just needs the ball. Now Brinson can't respond. Rebound to Davis. And those quick hands with 90 seconds left. Crawford, a corner three. It's an air ball. And now Brinson leading the Matador charge. Takes it himself. Rejected by Gene Charles. He plastered him and will stay on this end. How about the athleticism from the six foot seven sophomore just swats it. Get out of here. Wasn't even in our camera shot. Came out of nowhere, Deshaun Jean Charles, six foot seven, out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Two point game, minute 19 left. Matadors lead and have the ball. A quiet couple of minutes for CSUN. Hoping they can go into the locker room leading. This is Bostic. Finds Prince in a corner three. An air ball. We got dueling air balls in Chicago. Gene Charles coast to coast. We're tied. There you go. Right after we're used to dueling pianos. How about dueling air balls? Just drive it all the way to the hoop. Get as close as you can. 45 seconds separate us from halftime. Bostic a carved dribble. 
bounces it off a Cougar foot. It was Corbett's foot. So we stay here. 20 on the shot clock, 40 on the game clock. Deshaun Jean Charles with some tenacious defense today. Two points, two boards, and a block. That's what Coach Gillian likes to see. He wants this gritty team. I mean, look at him. He's going to go around. play defense out there. He tries to set a tone. Show, don't tell. It's Bostic at the top to Brinson. And now Allen Eichen splits the D, and he throws it away. Gene Charles to Davis. Lost it. Cardet is there. Cougars have a lead, and you can count that. Great play out in transition. The first ball, it's juggled a little bit, but Cardet's right there to clean it up. And what is this foul for Favada? Uh, he gets there so late and just puts the hands, I mean, right on the lower back of Cardet Jr. pretty much after he's already dunked it. Taking the lead with a 6-0 run, lasting just 92 seconds. It's the first lead for Chicago State since the four-minute mark. 23 seconds to halftime, and West Cardet now with 11 points. The only player in double figures. On the free throw, he misses. Bounces around, and he tracks down his own rebound. Shot and game clock are even. And timeout called. 14 seconds to halftime. We'll keep it here. Cardet, I mean, his scoring output has gone up every game. 12 with the opener, then 17, 21 in the win, and he's on a great pace. He's already gotten up 10 shots. He's made half of them. Uh, he's looked strong, and even after the missed free throw, he able to get it right back after some strong offensive rebounding. And this is called it's picking up, so up your quick friend. too. Yeah, how do you, from that vantage point at six foot six, pick that up flat? Dunk foot. it. I mean, goes up, jams it easy. He's got trampolines in his shoes. Got to buy those. Cougars by two. Coach Gillian imploring his team. What sort of energy are you seeing? They've hit four or five shots. Yeah, great energy, and it's really picked up on the defensive end of late with defense turning to offense. That's the second time they've been able to get out and run the floor. They had the easy layup from Gene Charles, and now you get the dunk, the and one, and you get a chance here to take the last shot of the half, too. Crowd on hand here in Chicago. Our last home game for 11 days. Cougars are back on the 25th of November when they face UT Martin. Is that, walk, is that walk taco Cancun. action? Oh, yeah? Anytime I see someone put a fork into a bag of Doritos. It's gotta be, right? Yeah. Or you're eating Doritos. I got excited. I had to interrupt you when I saw a walk yeah, taco. Fair enough. Maybe they'll get one in Cancun. Yeah. Good thing we're near an halftime. <laughs> <laughs> Eight seconds to halftime. Cougars have the lead in the ball. Cardet with five. Makes his move with two, and he got it to go. 13 first half points. Wesley Cardet Jr. has taken the game over. And an 8 nothing Chicago State run has them all smiles like a walking taco into halftime. Take me through it, Max. I mean, it's just too easy off the dribble. We've seen him go left a couple of times. He's getting it done. They're getting to the rim, getting downhill, even though the shooting on the other side has been great from the visitors. And after this, we'll have first half analysis. Chicago State by four at the break. At the Chicago State University College of Pharmacy, discoveries happen daily and students become industry leaders. If you are looking for a rewarding profession combining patient care, scientific research, and opportunities to give back to your community, CSU is an exceptional place to prepare with 3,000 square feet of state-of-the-art lab and research facilities and renowned faculty. No bachelor's degree is required. Learn more about CSU's College of Pharmacy by visiting csu.edu slash college of pharmacy. Pon en marcha tu futuro en la Universidad Estatal de Chicago con más de 70 programas de grado y certificaciones, numerosas oportunidades de becas y una vida universitaria vibrante. La Universidad Estatal de Chicago es la universidad pública más asequible de la ciudad con un cuerpo docente diverso y grupos pequeños de alumnos. En la Universidad Estatal de Chicago te brindamos las herramientas que necesitas para triunfar. Visita csu.edu diagonal admissions para saber cómo puedes conseguir gratis la matrícula de tu primer año. 
It's game day in Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs> Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. At Chicago State University, you'll find five academic colleges, 56 degree programs in all. Our School of Pharmacy is number one in the Midwest for educating minority student scholars. We're ranked first in Illinois and second nationwide among public universities for educating and supporting African-American student scholars. We've achieved 100% job placement in nursing, pharmacy, and occupational therapy. We're number two in the nation for graduating black physics majors. For economic mobility, CSU is in the top 4% nationwide among all colleges and universities. And you get the attention you deserve because on average, there are only 10 students for every faculty member. We have some of the best professors, some of the best mentors. You have people that uplift you, that will open doors for you, that will help you. It's an opportunity where you're able to make a change. Chicago State University. Put your career in motion, your connection to friends and professors in motion. Put your future in motion. Chicago State University. Set your future in motion at Chicago State University with over 70 degree and certificate programs, ample scholarship opportunities, and a vibrant campus life. Chicago State University is Chicago's number one most affordable public university with a diverse faculty, small class sizes, and almost 50 student organizations, including NCAA Division I athletics. At Chicago State, we provide you with the tools you need to succeed. Visit csu.edu forward slash admissions to learn how you can earn your first year of tuition free. At the Chicago State University College of Pharmacy, discoveries happen daily and students become industry leaders. If you are looking for a rewarding profession combining patient care, scientific research, and opportunities to give back to your community, CSU is an exceptional place to prepare with 3,000 square feet of state-of-the-art lab and research facilities and renowned faculty. No bachelor's degree is required. Learn more about CSU's College of Pharmacy by visiting csu.edu slash college of pharmacy. Pon en marcha tu futuro en la Universidad Estatal de Chicago con más de 70 programas de grado y certificaciones, numerosas oportunidades de becas y una vida universitaria vibrante. La Universidad Estatal de Chicago es la universidad pública más asequible de la ciudad con un cuerpo docente diverso y grupos pequeños de alumnos. En la Universidad Estatal de Chicago te brindamos las herramientas que necesitas para triunfar. Visita csu.edu diagonal admissions para saber cómo puedes conseguir gratis la matrícula de tu primer año. It's game day in Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs> Let's put your ambition in motion. 
Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. At Chicago State University, you'll find five academic colleges, 56 degree programs in all. Our School of Pharmacy is number one in the Midwest for educating minority student scholars. We're ranked first in Illinois and second nationwide among public universities for educating and supporting African-American student scholars. We've achieved 100% job placement in nursing, pharmacy, and occupational therapy. We're number two in the nation for graduating black physics majors. For economic mobility, CSU is in the top 4% nationwide among all colleges and universities. And you get the attention you deserve because on average, there are only 10 students for every faculty member. We have some of the best professors, some of the best mentors. You have people that uplift you, that will open doors for you, that will help you. It's an opportunity where you're able to make a change. Chicago State University. Put your career in motion, your connection to friends and professors in motion. Put your future in motion. Chicago State University. Set your future in motion at Chicago State University with over 70 degree and certificate programs, ample scholarship opportunities, and a vibrant campus life. Chicago State University is Chicago's number one most affordable public university with a diverse faculty, small class sizes, and almost 50 student organizations, including NCAA Division I Athletics. At Chicago State, we provide you with the tools you need to succeed. Visit csu.edu forward slash admissions to learn how you can earn your first year of tuition free. At the Chicago State University College of Pharmacy, discoveries happen daily and students become industry leaders. If you are looking for a rewarding profession combining patient care, scientific research, and opportunities to give back to your community, CSU is an exceptional place to prepare with 3,000 square feet of state-of-the-art lab and research facilities and renowned faculty. No bachelor's degree is required. Learn more about CSU's College of Pharmacy by visiting csu.edu slash college of pharmacy. Pon en marcha tu futuro en la Universidad Estatal de Chicago con más de 70 programas de grado y certificaciones, numerosas oportunidades de becas y una vida universitaria vibrante. La Universidad Estatal de Chicago es la universidad pública más asequible de la ciudad con un cuerpo docente diverso y grupos pequeños de alumnos. En la Universidad Estatal de Chicago te brindamos las herramientas que necesitas para triunfar. Visita csu.edu diagonal admissions para saber cómo puedes conseguir gratis la matrícula de tu primer año. It's game day at Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers. One love. <laughs> Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. 
Pon en marcha tu futuro en la Universidad Estatal de Chicago con más de 70 programas de grado y certificaciones, numerosas oportunidades de becas y una vida universitaria vibrante. La Universidad Estatal de Chicago es la universidad pública más asequible de la ciudad con un cuerpo docente diverso y grupos pequeños de alumnos. En la Universidad Estatal de Chicago te brindamos las herramientas que necesitas para triunfar. Visita csu.edu diagonal admissions para saber cómo puedes conseguir gratis la matrícula de tu primer año. It's game day, Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Let's put your Back in Chicago, where Chicago State's holding on to a four-point halftime lead over Cal State Northridge. And alongside Max Toma, I'm Sam Brief with our championship crew here in Chicago. So, Max, take me through some of this. It was a funky first half, but Chicago State eking out a four-point lead. It hit four threes. Kendrick Green hit a couple of them, and it was all about, I mean, it was Cal State Northridge just dominating in the paint. Remember, it was 18-2 in the paint uh, for a while into the first half. But 12 of the last 14 points scored in the paint were scored by the Cougars. They changed their point of emphasis. They got out and started running, and they've been so good controlling the ball and not turning it over. Feels like a tale of two completely different styles of basketball. The Chicago State team that has shot 16 three-pointers, where on the flip side, the Matadors have only attempted four. This really is dueling styles right now. How do you see it playing out for the next 20 minutes? Well, I think it's going to be really tight the entire way. We know coming into today that the you know the people out in Vegas have this as pretty much a toss-up type of a game. And this early in the year, especially in a team uh, like Cal State Northridge, it's so different. It's hard to foresee just how good they're going to look coming all together, right? But uh, they've looked strong offensively. They've had great stretches. Chicago State has, too. I think we're in for a very fun, entertaining 20 minutes. Can Chicago State play the way they did the last few minutes offensively? And can Cal State Northridge get back to how well they were shooting for I mean, the first 15 minutes? Yeah, the plus for CSUN is, hey, they've shot the ball very well. For Chicago State, it's, hey, they're protecting the basketball. So which style will win, and will that even continue in half two? Leading all scorers, by the way, is Wesley Cardet Jr. with a game-high 13 points. What have you seen from Wes? Uh, he's just taking it on his own shoulders, right? It hasn't been plays in the half-court offense. It was in the last 30 seconds, him just driving to the rim at will. Uh, which has been a treat to watch, a guy you mentioned, a projected potential second rounder in the NBA draft, and you, you see that talent, six foot six, seven two wingspan. He is so hard to guard uh, for a point guard on the other side, and he's so great at guarding uh, a point guard where he's almost always going to have more length than. Yeah, sort of wrecking havoc defensively. And in the first half, the Matadors committed eight turnovers, Chicago State with only one. But CSUN out-rebounded Chicago State 26 to 14. So it's interesting. You have one team plus 12 in boards and the other team plus seven in the turnover battle as we get set for half two. Both teams are looking to start a win streak. Both teams started 0-1 but bounced back with wins over the weekend. For CSUN, it was at Idaho, comeback win over the Vandals. And for Chicago State, it was a commanding win over Southern. Southern Indiana. So Coach Gillian drawing it up. Third year head coach going toe to toe with first year lead man Andy Newman. We'll see who survives this battle of CSUs. And I think you really just hit the nail on the head for the point of emphasis for both head coaches in the halftime locker room, I'm sure. For Chicago State, we got to rebound better. I'm sure that's what Gerald Gillian was saying. On the other side for Andy Newman, he's saying, hey, we got to control the ball. Yes, we want to play fast. Yes, we want to get out there. We want to score ideally 80 points a game, right? If you're the visiting Matadors, but you can't do it while turning it over the way they did 12 in the first half. Back 
for half two. It's good to have you with us. Max Toma, Sam Brief, and our championship crew here in Chicago. Cougars' last game here at home for the next 11 days. Three-point miss right out of the gate. Only the fifth attempted three of the day for the Matadors. Here's Carnett triggering, and he leaves it short. Rebound to Jones, finds the open man. Little cherry pick, no problem for Boston. And that's great communication, too, and great presence of mind for Bostic. His guy gets the open three. He sprints the floor. Cardet doesn't get back, and that's just like taking candy from a baby. Cougars ended the first half on an 8-0 run, so CSUN squashing that right out of the gate. As this is Corbett with it, step back three pointer is off the mark, and the rebound cleared for the Matadors. This is Allen Eikens, coast to coast, draws a whistle. And that goes against Deshaun Jean Charles, foul number two on number two. Excuse me, that, that's actually Ken Green whistled his fourth foul, which is huge here because he starts the second half with yep. three and then comes in, immediately picks it up. That's nice, heady, intelligent play from Deshaun Allen Eikens, who has been getting to the free throw line at will. This is going to be attempt number seven, eight already. Hasn't hit a field goal, but he's hit now five free throws. And Green checks out Noble Crawford, replacing him at the bottom of your screen. Deshaun Allen Eikens, leading scorer this season for CSUN. Averaging 20 a game, and he's got six now, cashing in from the line. So 35 all, one minute into the second half. Wonderful to have you with us. Hope your Tuesday is treating you well. Chicago State and Cal State Northridge. Both looking to win their second straight. Gene Charles to Corbett. To Cardet on the drive. A little teardrop goes in and out. Rebound tips to Gene Charles and then somehow ends up with... Tucker, down low, there's Jones with the two-handed flush. And out of the locker room, a 6-0 Matador run. This CSUN team is rolling. So Barnett, that court vision finding the open man, sort of a defensive breakdown. Yeah, almost a fortuitous type of play down the court, too, because it's kind of a wayward dribble. He got triple teamed, found it, looked up, found a man immediately to get it done. And we're going to keep it here as we're in a full timeout. Matadors are up by two. So for those of you who are Chicago State fans, maybe not too familiar with this CSUN program, well, it's Cal State University Northridge. And this school is the second largest in the CSU system out of the Northridge neighborhood of Los Angeles. It actually used to be San Fernando Valley College until 1972 when they upgraded, and I love the nickname, the Matadors. It was chosen over Apollos for the finalists, but Matadors feels fitting. Got to be nice for the Matadors, too, making a trip to Chicago. You know, it's the Bulls in this town, right? You got Matadors, you got the, the Matadors, the, the Bulls. Okay. I didn't even see my head did not know where you were going. I mean, you could kind of Matador second. a Cougar, right? I yeah. mean, you, that's what they're trying to do. More dangerous. <laughs> Cougar versus a bull. <laughs> what, what would you rather? I'd, I'd, I'd probably rather Matador or Cougar, to be honest. Here's some of the CSUN fans, the faithful who have made the trip out to Chicago, and they got some nice weather as it's 60 degrees and sunny all week. Feels like California. Here's the five of the game for Coach Newman. Yeah, it's almost too warm, honestly, for the middle of November in Chicago. Too warm? Come on. Quit your complaints. <laughs> I, that's that's what we do. A few weeks, it's going to be zero degrees, and I'm going to be razzing you. You're going to cut this and send it to me then? Pretty much. <laughs> Here's A.J. Neal bringing it up. And whether you're cold or warm, we are delighted to have you with us as Cardet dribbles, finds Davis, and now it's Corbett in the corner. 12 to shoot. This is Neal. Splits the defense behind his back. Cardet for the deuce. What a pass for Neal. Oh, it looked like he got lost of a behind the back beauty of an assist. Put that one on the highlight reel. Nice interior feed for Tucker. The court vision for Allen Eikens. It wasn't as pretty as the Neal pass, but you'll take it. 
Yeah, counts just the same, but uh, man, we're gonna be thinking about that Neil pass forever. Corbett misses. Rebound Jones. Here's that quick moving Matador offense. Step through for Bostic, and he can't hit off the Euro, but a foul called against Brent Davis. It was a decent job by Davis getting back, trying to pull his feet and stay in front of the driving. Deontay Bostic with the Euro gets through. Gets a pretty clean look trying to get the and one. What do you think of the call? I think they had it right. It's good effort. It's just so hard to be put in that kind of position. Bostic at the line for the first time. He's got 11 points and now 12. CSUN by three as they've come out of the gate in half two with a nine to two run. Deontay Bostic, native of Clearwater, Florida, started his college run at Murray State. Cleared by Gene Charles. Gene Charles prodding in with a head of steam rejected by Tucker, but a goaltend call gives two to the Cougars. Wow. Got up there to get a piece of it. It was certainly, I think it was on the window before he got to it. No, that's pretty same time. That's actually Keontae Jones who made the contact and maybe Chicago State catching a break there. That's, that's simultaneous. I, I think when that happens, you gotta lean and that be a clean block. Yeah. Ty goes to the block. This is Bostic. He got up there. Oh, he's got some highlight plays in this second half so far. Great ball movement. Allen Eikens leaves it short. Tucker board, but swiped by Gene Charles. Now it's Cardet pulling up at the baseline. Double teamed for a moment. Clear 20 up. on the clock. Corbin on the drive, took a tumble. Davis along three, and it's short. Offensive board, Corbett, back up with the grown man put back. Not the cleanest possession, but a fortuitous bounce right to Corbett under the hoop. And then Bostic shimmies his way in, 14 points. It's a team high. He's shooting 67% from the field, too. A man who stands out there at just 6'2". Keith Cog on this team last year, second in scoring even though he missed the last 11 games of the year with injury. Entertaining battle, especially to start the second half. Here's Corbett up and under no. And the rebound for Barnett. Little guard from San Diego State shimmies up. Around to Allen Eikens on the drive. Offensive foul. Gene Charles taking the brunt of that contact. And a one-point game, we go to a media break. Neil going flying. We take a timeout. It's a fun one here in Chicago. And we're back after this. Pon en marcha tu futuro en la Universidad Estatal de Chicago con más de 70 programas de grado y certificación, numerosas oportunidades de becas y una vida universitaria vibrante. La Universidad Estatal de Chicago es la universidad pública más asequible de la ciudad con un cuerpo docente diverso y grupos pequeños de alumnos. En la Universidad Estatal de Chicago te brindamos las herramientas que necesitas para triunfar. Visita csu.edu diagonal admissions para saber cómo puedes conseguir gratis la matrícula de tu primer año. No, no, that's enough. It's game day, Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Set your future in motion at Chicago's. How about this from AJ Neal? A circus act of a pass. How do you do it, Max? Look at how small this window is. There's like four hands reaching in towards the ball at the same time. Stays with it, controls it, and then a beautiful pass. Undoubtedly, one of the plays of the season so far is Chicago State finds itself down by one. What have you seen from the Cougars four minutes into the second half? 
Well, I think they picked up kind of where they left off. They might be coming out a little bit slower out of the gate. Obviously, Green picked up his fourth foul in the opening moments. I think that was huge because uh, he's played, played 11 minutes in that first half, put up six points, hit those two threes. He's been giving them uh, some depth and some range, too, from beyond the perimeter. But uh, Cal State Northridge had that great start right out of the gate. Timeout had to be called uh, by the Cougars. Uh, they slowed down a little bit since then. But, I mean, it's been super hard to predict who's going to make a run at one time in this game because it's been so tight the whole way through. It really has been, and perhaps most impressively, a Chicago State team that has averaged 15 turnovers per game has committed one. Yet they trail. CSUN's been efficient. CSUN's dominated the glass, and the Matadors lead it by one. What a funky game. Yeah, it's been a crazy one. I think it's been as entertaining as you could have asked for coming in. You thought this would be a toss-up game. That certainly feels like it's been the case to this point, too. Gerald Killian leading his team out of timeout. Like what I've seen from De'Aaron Tucker in the first four minutes plus of this half, too. He's not lighting up the stat sheet. It's only taken, what? He's taken eight shots, he's made three, he's got six points and five boards, but uh, he's looked great defensively. We've seen the agility and the athleticism that he has, especially guarding Deshaun Corbett in the post. And Tucker just took a seat on the bench. He's put in a really quality 15 minutes so far, scoring six as the Cougars are with it down one. Davis starts top of the key. Now it's A.J. Neal who had that circus pass a few minutes ago. Davis on the spin, pockets picked, and Neal gets it right back. Corner three, Gene Charles strong. And then Davis wrestles back a third possession. Somebody's got to slow it down, I think, after that. Cougar shooting just four of 19 from beyond the arc. Seven on the shot clock. It's Cardet making his move. Finds Gene Charles on the drive. He was trying to slam it, and the Cougars have run out of time. Shot clock violation is turnover number two for Chicago State after a possession that felt like it lasted a minute. That almost left our jaws on the floor. Gene Charles goes for the haymaker there, goes for the poster. He somehow winds up passing it right to A.J. Neal while the shot clock was at one, but I don't think he was aware of where that was. I feel like that shot encapsulates the funkiness of this game. Nearly a haymaker dunk and just a nice assist, or near assist. Bostic missing the three. Here is Cardet. The bounce to Davis. Puts it in off the glass. Cougars retake the lead. Great play out transition after what feels like a first miss in a long time for Deontay Bostic. Allen Eikens, nice shot fake. And then he got stripped. Another turnover for CSUN. And Chicago State ball. Yeah, I mean, Allen Eikens, that's going to be as this updates, that's his fifth turnover already. He's had three plus in every game, had seven in the opener for Stanford. He's played so well offensively when it comes to getting the ball into the bottom of the net, but too many careless turnovers. He takes a seat with 24 minutes, six points, all of them from the free throw line. He hasn't hit a shot from the field. 20 on the shot clock for Gene Charles. The handoff to Neal. In the corner, Davis, a three ball, short. Rebound to Barnett, smallest guy on the floor getting it. Jared Barnett, through the hands of Jones to Bostic. And in the corner, here's Jones. On the drive, the scoop shot, Keontae Jones. What a beauty. Hasn't taken many shots, only the third from the floor. He's made all three, though. He's got seven points. We highlighted him out of the game with those 16 points off the bench in their win versus Idaho. And a lot of his buckets should look just like that, strong of the paint through contact. Nine lead changes in the game. Gene Charles leaving it short, rebound snared by Fofana. Now Bostic jogs it up. Met by Cardet, Chicago State's top defender. Barnett with 20. 
The San Diego State transfer with a rainbow pass to Bostic and fouled after the shot fake by Davis. Brent committing foul number two. And Chicago State with just its third in the second half. Yeah, looks like he'll check out. A couple of subs coming in here for Gerald Gilliard's squad. Corbett and Greg Spate. Greg Spate back out there for the second time, too. And you're at a window right now with 13-12, where you got another media break approaching, too, so you could have some extended rest for your guys heading to the bench. Gerald Gillian says Greg Spate might be the best prospect on this team. True freshman as Jones kisses it off the glass. CSUN's got a three-point advantage. Now, what a quote that was, right? Best prospect on this roster. And that's that is saying the, a ton. Including the two five stars, Matt and Ryan Bewley. I will say, Coach Gillian said right before that, he said, I know people might think I'm crazy for saying this, but... Greg Spate might be the best. It's a good caveat to start that. Well, here's Spate missing the three. And the rebound fought for, and Senga won it. Then he got fouled. So we go the other way, the foul on Jernigan. He was pretty bold. He got two five stars who will be playing NBA basketball one day. And Coach Gillian says the 6'7 freshman Greg Spate might be the best by the end of the day. Yeah, great wing player they've seen flashes from, and he thinks he's really going to be special here at his time on the south side of Chicago. 12.40 left in the second half. CSUN has hit six of its last eight shots. This is Barnett on Gene Charles, and he finds Jones. Now Bostic attacking. Beautiful cut, Sanga finishes. And Jasmine Senga now with eight. We've seen so many of those today, too. Great interior bounce passes for the assist for Deontay Bostic. Neal leaning over the dribble at the left. Now Cardet. 15 to shoot. Here's Wesley. And his pocket is picked. Keontae Jones coast to coast. He scoops it. Keontae's taking over. Seven-point lead. Great help defense came over, got rid of it. Probably should have gotten an and one, too. Gene Charles kisses in the putback, and there's the Cougar response, squashing an 8 nothing run. Bostic quick the other way. Sanga, once again, he's got 10. Feel like somebody either needs a timeout. I know the next whistle will be our next media break, or just slow it down, because it, it's end-to-end. -end. That's back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back layups. And then Neal slowly walking it up the court. 18 on the shot clock. CSUN leads by seven. Neal tries a three, hits it. AJ Neal with his first bucket. So timely right before a break. It felt like Cal State Northrop was making a move and they still are. They've hit their last six. Sound familiar? CSUN can get hot like that. I think the last four or five were all right at the rim. That's the first jumper in a while. And that one from Deontay Bostic leading all scorers. 16 points, 7 of 11 shooting. Nearly another steal. This is Gene Charles, 8 on the shot clock. Deshaun makes his move, lost it, got it back. Neal again. Foul away from the ball. So we'll have free throws after the break. This foul goes against Sanga, against Jasmine Sanga of CSUN as we take a timeout. 10.25 left, second half. Matadors by six. Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. 
At the Chicago State University College of Pharmacy, discoveries happen daily and students become industry leaders. If you are looking for a rewarding profession combining patient care, scientific research, and opportunities to give back to your community, CSU is an exceptional place to prepare with 3,000 square feet of state-of-the-art lab and research facilities and renowned faculty. No bachelor's degree is required. Learn more about CSU's College of Pharmacy by visiting csu.edu slash college of pharmacy. Back in Chicago, A.J. Neal hitting the Cougars' fifth three-pointer of the night. Chicago State's within six, hanging with a CSUN team. They're looking to beat for the second time ever. Yeah, big triple, and then obviously the foul that just happened. Uh, A.J. Neal's been a nice little spark plug in the last couple of minutes after Cal State and Northridge went on a nice run, and it's another stretch where they haven't missed a field goal. We're talking real time. Doesn't it feel like it's almost 20 minutes again like it was back in the first half when they made 10 straight, made their last six right now. It's pretty remarkable. CSUN is shooting 55% from the floor, but only leading by two possessions. Well, why? Well, it's because they've turned it over over 11 times and Chicago State's only done so four times. So you have a very controlled Chicago State team not shooting particularly well. Anyone in particular you want them or need them to turn to to right that shit? Well, you think you always got to go to Cardinet, right? Because he's the floor general out there um, having a very solid day. He's shooting 50% uh, with those 14 attempts and seven makes. He's got 15 points. They've had some good moments off the bench, too, from Brent Davis, uh, who's had a nice spark. Seven points, or I should say in the starting lineup, but on the bench right now. So 20 on the shot clock for Chicago State. Here's your man, Cardet, who leads the Cougs with 15. Now 10 on the clock, it's Gene Charles. Speed dribble, nice turnaround. Off the front end, no good. Rebound, won by Barnett. And the little man has five boards. In transition, stolen away by Corbett. And a foul whistled against Davis. Is third and Chicago State's fifth. Tough one in transition after a good pass inside from Jones. I don't know if Tucker needed to put that on the floor, but he dribbles it right into Brent Davis. Tough call to go against you. Kedrick Green comes in, replacing Neal. Sitting on four fouls back out there with 10 still left. Keep an eye on Green, see how aggressive he can be as a defensive breakdown leads to Allen Eichen's first field goal. Leading scorer now with eight. And that's how you shoot over 55% from the floor. They've had so many looks just like that. Easy bunnies. Corbett, the drive on Tucker. And he won the battle, but he left it short. Rebound Allen Eichen's. It's one on two, so he'll slow it up. Finding Boston. And now to Barnett. Dribble and a pass. Allen Eikens cashes in on a three. Just the second of the day for CSUN. Well, they run a great out of bounds play, and then the next time down the floor, just great facilitating the ball movement sublime, and Allen Eikens starting to feel it. Feels like a turning point. The last eight Matador shots have fallen, and that one doesn't fall for Green. It's a 7 0 run. The Matadors controlling the Cougars. Chicago State in his own look right now. There's the open man. Jones misses. And Green the board. Nice bounce pass. And it's Corbett fouled. He'll go to the charity strike. And if they want to come back, Corbett's certainly a guy that's got to get it going. Only six points, only three of 12 from the field so far today. We've seen him chuck up some threes, too. De'Aaron Tucker's had the best of them most of the night. It's a clear-cut foul. It's kind of lazy defending. We have not seen that much from Deontay Jones, who's played another whale of a game. And Max, we've now had stretches of 10 consecutive makes and eight consecutive for CSUN, the first in the first half, and this one in the second. Corbett makes it a 10 point game. A trio of subs Noble Crawford for the Cougars, and then Jasmine Senga and Mahmoud Fofana for the Matadors. 
Charles taking a breather. Six points and six boards. So eight minutes, 44 seconds on the clock. Corbett goes one for two. Foul away from the ball. They got Noble Crawford there. That's his first. So Chicago State now with six team fouls. So the next one will send a Matador to the charity strike for a one and one. 8.30 left in the game, CSUN by 10. On the drive, Barnett. The kick, Fofana can't hit it, and the rebound goes to Cardet. On the move, Davis, nice feed, and the finish for Noble Crawford. It's all about the pass there, just teed it up for Noble Crawford for the easy two-handed slam. How can the Matadors respond? A little burst of Cougar momentum in the last minute. Next stoppage takes us to a timeout. It's Sanga who's dominated his minutes. One on one with Crawford. He's stuffed and it's cleared by Corbett. Here come the Cougars. Green throws it away. Costly turnover for a Cougar team with a chance to turn the corner, but they're down eight. Eight to go here in Chicago. It is a good one. And the Matadors right now are in command. We're back after this. Pon en marcha tu futuro en la Universidad Estatal de Chicago con más de 70 programas de grado y certificaciones. Numerosas oportunidades de becas y una vida universitaria vibrante. La Universidad Estatal de Chicago es la universidad pública más asequible de la ciudad con un cuerpo docente diverso y grupos pequeños de alumnos. En la Universidad Estatal de Chicago te brindamos las herramientas que necesitas para triunfar. Visita csu.edu diagonal admissions para saber cómo puedes conseguir gratis la matrícula de tu primer año. It's game day at Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers. One love. <laughs> Wesley Cardet, Brent Davis, Noble Crawford with the flush. Nice three-man game. That'll make Jared Gillian happy. Yeah, nice easy slam, and it feels like Chicago State needs more easy buckets like that because they've been coming on the other end. Uh, really, since the opening tip, CSUN's been able to get easy looks right at the rim. They got 28 points already. They've outscored Chicago State by 12 in the second half after they trailed at the halftime break. What is it that CSUN is doing that's enabled them to dominate the boards like this? Max, they have plus 13 in the rebounding department. Yeah, the banks have just played tremendous. I mean, Alan Eichert's down low, a little bit undersized. Tucker's got that size and length. They've kind of taken guys like Deshaun Corbett out of their game defensively. And then on the offensive side, uh, they've been picking up the boards. We know that the rebounding battle has easily been won by the Matadors all day long. They're plus 13 in total rebounds right now. Although somehow they're actually minus one on the offensive glass, which seems a little funky. I would not have guessed Weird. that with uh, the way this first, uh, what, 30 plus minutes now has gone. But uh, I think I think Deontay Bostic uh, has been a huge catalyst. I, I know he's only got three assists, but it just feels like he's been getting guys into the right spot just about all day long. I'm sure he's got a, a slew of hockey assists uh, as well so far today. He's been great. And then Barnett, obviously, is the guy who's doing uh, a whole lot of it, facilitating as well. Guy who's only got two points, but five boards, six assists. Barnett, undersized, comes into today, averaging six assists and six rebounds. A guy who's just 6'1". Yeah, go figure. Jared Barnett, the transfer out of San Diego State, really guiding this offense well, but so is Bostic, who has 16 points, three dimes. Allen Eikens has heated up. He's got it. Now to Barnett. Cougars in his zone look with 15 to shoot. Allen Eikens just hit his first shot from the floor, and now a step back, audacious three in and out. And a foul on the board goes against the Cougars. That'll send the Matadors into bonus. Nope, it goes against the Matadors, rather. 
and it'll send the ball to the Cougars. So down eight, Ked Green with it. Got our eyes on him. He's got four fouls. Important minutes, too, for Crawford. We thought he might only play a minute or two until that media timeout. He comes in still in the five out there on the floor. And that nice dunk. And now Green with 17. Well, two-man game with Corbett. Corbett weaving his way through, rattles it home. It's a two-possession game. Good play by Green. They got the switch, and they had the size advantage. Fed it right to Corbett on the post. A couple three-year players connecting there in Green and Corbett. Some of the steady hands for Chicago State. Here's Jones shimmying in, and it's stolen by Corbett. Davis by himself, the flush. It's a four-point game. Here come the Cougars. Get out and run after they get the post mismatch in the easy bucket. Even easier after the turnover with a nice pass up ahead to Brett Davis. 7-0 run for Chicago State. Six minutes, 20 seconds to go. Barnett. Crowd's getting into it. Allen Eikens. Running into a brick wall, puts it in with two on the shot clock. Depending on their top player, Deshaun Allen Eikens, really bailing out the Matadors. And he goes right after the one guy out there on the floor who's got four fouls too, and Green who had to stay straight up, and then Green went to the floor, no call either way. They say play on, and a strong finish from Allen Eikens who didn't make a field goal for about 30 minutes, but now he's got three in the last handful of possessions. Here's that last breakaway for the Cougars. The swipe, Corbett ended up with it, and he found the open man. It was a two on O. Brent Davis, cleanup duty. He's got a sneaky nine points. Yeah, it's always sneaky. It, it never feels like he's a guy who's going to be a volume shooter, but a very solid scorer for this team in the early stages of the season. So CSUN 61, CSU 55. Both teams are looking to start a win streak. Cal State Northridge came in one and one after really falling apart late in their season opening loss at Stanford and then bouncing back, comeback win at Idaho. So one and one, Chicago State one and two. They got a commanding win by 11 points at Southern Indiana. Here's the first year head coach, Andy Newman. His first year leading Cal State Northridge. After seven wins last year, they make the coaching change, and he is still setting his roots in terms of what he wants this program to look like. Guy who knows the Big West well. He was the main assistant at Cal State Fullerton with the Titans for a decade. Ja'Shawn Corbett, the deuce, 11 points for Ja'Shawn. And since we mentioned that he only had the six points a couple of breaks ago, he's really been looking for his shot offensively. Chicago State's connected on its last four. This feels like the last time they played at home, trailing almost the entirety of this half, but still with a striking distance. Just beautiful health defense Andrew there. Green, really aggressive. Does not have the height, but he's skying to take it away from the six foot ten center, De'Aaron Tucker. There. Chicago State's only led six minutes. CSUN's led for 24. Five minutes remain. Cougars trail by four. Game Max Lutz to was Thursday against Mercer when Chicago State didn't lead at all. But it was a tight game. A couple ties late. Mercer ended up with a win. Gerald Gillian hoping for a different narrative today. Five to shoot. Here's Keontae Jones. The scoop. No good off the glass. Cougars moving quick. Green weaves in. Way too strong. A little too much momentum. Three on two. Jones fouled by Cardet. Wes is second. Love that transition break for Cal State Northridge. Don't let the ball hit the floor. Keep it in the air with quick passes, and it was one and then another. Here's the last pass. Easy foul, and Keontae Jones back to the free throw line where he's one on one today. Already has 11 points to go with five boards. Only played 19 minutes. He's been efficient again. 
19 minutes feels about as good as you can get. The struggles of the charity stripe continue. Nine of 15 tonight, the Matadors. Tucker checks out. And now Green and Davis, by the way, both sitting on four fouls. And Davis replaces him. So one, no, both of them stay in, rather. Crawford takes a seat. So it's Green, Davis, Gene Charles, Corbett, and Cardet for Chicago State. Second one for Jones. He goes 0 for 2, but Fofana with the rebound. That's big for the fresh-legged Mahmoud. Under five left. Barnett against his zone. Now Fofana, five on the shot clock. Jones to the hoop, no. Fofana the board, he's been everywhere on the glass, and he's got two. How many looks can you have in one possession? It comes right after two. Green misses the layup in transition. They go the other way, miss two free throws. Fofana keeps it alive and then gets the bucket. Around the perimeter to Davis, 15 on the shot clock. Here's Green. Playing with four fouls, whistles a pass to Gene Charles, and it's in and out of the corner. Cougars are five of 25 from beyond the arc. Great skip pass to the corner, hit Gene Charles right on the money. Four minutes, and 15 to shoot. Barnett, Jones, and now Bostic. Head down, bullies in. Nearly lost it, now he shoots it. And a clean swish for Deontay Bostic. How about 18? Just a broken possession too, drives in. He looks like he loses it, gets it right back, turn it around, turn it face with the deep two. Made it look easy. Scored 12 a game last year, he's got 18 tonight. 3.30 left, down eight. Last charge for the Cougars. Drive and kick, Green is stuffed. And the six foot one, Jared Barnett, showing out as we come to a media break. 3.17 on the clock, and CSUN starting to put the pedal to the metal. We're back after this. At the Chicago State University College of Pharmacy, discoveries happen daily and students become industry leaders. If you are looking for a rewarding profession combining patient care, scientific research, and opportunities to give back to your community, CSU is an exceptional place to prepare with 3,000 square feet of state-of-the-art lab and research facilities and renowned faculty. No bachelor's degree is required. Learn more about CSU's College of Pharmacy by visiting csu.edu slash college of pharmacy. Pon en marcha tu futuro en la Universidad Estatal de Chicago con más de 70 programas de grado y certificaciones, numerosas oportunidades de becas y una vida universitaria vibrante. La Universidad Estatal de Chicago es la universidad pública más asequible de la ciudad con un cuerpo docente diverso y grupos pequeños de alumnos. En la Universidad Estatal de Chicago te brindamos las herramientas que necesitas para triunfar. Visita csu.edu diagonal admissions para saber cómo puedes conseguir gratis la matrícula de tu primer año. Oh, there's the queen of Chicago State, Taylor Norris of the women's basketball team. They played earlier this evening, tough loss against Ball State, part of a little doubleheader. But it seems like they are having a nice time watching this men's squad. Good to have you back with us alongside Max Toma and our championship crew. I'm Sam Brief. Taylor is grooving. She's she even is got the vibe the, right now. The sash. So Max down the stretch, eight point game. Give me a key for the Cougars in these final three minutes. Well, uh, they gotta get some buckets, right? And they need them in a hurry because they're starting to run out of time here, down by eight at home, scoring drought of nearly two minutes and 30 seconds. And where has Wesley Cardet Jr. been here down the stretch? Because I think he's got to pick it up. The last time we talked about him, he was seven of 14, had 15 points. Boy, that feels like it was over 15 minutes of real time ago. Got to go to your best down the stretch here, down by eight. Out of those 15 points, just two of them are in the second half. This is how we're going to broadcast the next game, right? I'll stand on I you. I was going to say, I'll be standing there. I'll, I'll bring my no, big overalls. No, I want the standing position. I'll take the overalls. Okay, fine. All right, 
good to have you back. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Chicago State with it. Here's Corbett. Five to shoot now. It's Cardet. Cardet ran out of time. Off a hand, out of bounds. A turnover for Chicago State at the worst time. Yeah, and he had to be aware of, of shot clock there, too, because you're kind of throwing a grenade to your partner there, getting that, rid of that pass, even if he does catch it, only one on the shot clock. Just getting it over. There's Bostic. Matadors looking for back-to-back -back wins. Three minutes to go. Fresh off a road comeback win at Idaho. CSUN has closed well. Bostic navigating. Around to Barnett with eight. Barnett on Crawford with five. Now Allen Eikens, one on two. He wins the battle. Deshaun Allen Eikens dominating half two with 15 points. Just feels like every time they've gone to a down the stretch, he's converted. And now Cardet, another miss. But a foul on the ground against CSUN. Looks like it's on Fofana. First foul. And it's a baseline inbound. Just the fifth team foul for CSUN. So no bonus basketball for Chicago State with 229 in the game. Kendrick Green will inbound, still in the game with four fouls. And he finds Corbett. Now to Cardet. Just two second half points. What's he got up his sleeve? He makes the turnaround jumper, now with 17 on the night. Double team, spins away from it, finds some space right in the middle of the paint. Nice floater. That ends a lengthy scoring drought and ends a 6-0 run. And now the full court pressure for Chicago State. Green and Davis both have four fouls. Two minutes to go. This is Barnett. Working on Green. Ten on the shot clock. Off the screen from Allen Eikens, three to shoot. A lot of dribbling here, and he turns it over into the waiting hands of Green. Cougar ball, 100 seconds left. Down eight. Green off the dribble. Spins, finds. Crawford can't hit a circus shot, but he drew contact. It's a CSUN foul. Kind of a delayed whistle. It looked like Noble Crawford got absolutely drilled on this with the arm across the top of the head from Crawford, who, who is back in there playing meaningful moments and minutes down the stretch here. Coach Gerald Gillian, after 8-0 home record last year, looking to avoid back-to-back -back home losses. And that won't help Noble Crawford missing as Chicago State has shot just 8 of 15 from the free throw line. Cougars with a home loss last Thursday to Mercer. And now staring down possibly the same fate against CSUN. It's a seven point game with a minute and a half left. Gerald Gillian will lead his team to Cancun. They are Mexico bound for the Cancun Challenge, which starts on Thursday evening against Southern Illinois. But first, he wants to get out of Chicago with a win. What's the key down the stretch? Uh, I mean, obviously, you got to string together some stops. They're going to need to start to lighten it up as well. Uh, I, I think they just need to need a three ball or two to go. Uh, they've been getting a little line. Neither team is shooting well at all with the line today. Both, I think, shooting exactly 56%. But just need to see the ball go in the hoop a couple times. And, you know, on the other side for Cal State Northridge, it'd be a great start for them after a 7-25 season a year ago with these 11 new faces. First year head coach as well to begin the year 2-1 and one with three true road games and they could have potentially set the bar real high if they held on for that lead at Stanford late because this is a team that uh, after tonight comes to a conclusion they're at home for three straight very winnable games and they don't leave California till December. Sounds nice. They face NAIA's Life Pacific University on Friday night. It'll be their first home game of the season. Meanwhile, Chicago State already two under their belts as they head to Mexico. And here comes full court pressure for the Cougars, but broken with ease by Bostic and CSUN. 90 seconds left, a seven point lead. You think a field goal here probably ices it. 15 to shoot for the proficient Barnett. 
finds Jones. He's been a spark plug. Jones weaving through, and it's out of bounds off of Crawford. So staying here with seven on the clock. Coach Andy Newman leading CSUN first season. He says, I really want to recruit the Valley. That's the San Fernando Valley. Got a lot of transfers to come play at home in the San Fernando Valley. Some Division I transfers forming the backbone of this program. As De'Aaron Tucker checks in. 35 of the black as impressed in limited minutes. So 111 left, seven on the clock. Jared Barnett will trigger the inbound. Little bounce feed to the cutting Allen Eikens. And it bounces around into Cougar hands. Back to Allen Eikens. And he kisses it off the glass. How did he get that? Nine point CSUN lead. Cardet with Chicago State's last stand. Long two, that's not it. Rebound to Tucker, that should do it. 50 seconds left, it's a nine point lead. Trapped in the corner, timeout, Matadors. How about what Allen Eikens has done, Max? In the first half, four points, but in the second half, 13. Yeah, he's a guy coming in, leading scorer, averaging a little bit over 20 points per game at double-digit scoring outputs. Uh, I mean, 20 times last year, one of their really big key cog returners uh, from a season ago. And how did he end up with that? You're Chicago State. You think you have a steal there with the shot clock winding down. Virtually no time on it. Loose ball, 50-50. Who wants it more? Uh, well, Deshaun Allen Eikens ends up with it. Uh, and they put it off the window pretty much right with the shot clock at one. CSUN has done a really nice job closing games recently. They were down seven late against Idaho, came back and won last Thursday. Tonight, just dominance in the second half. 38 to 25, outscoring the Cougars, leaving really no doubt tonight about who the better team is. Yeah, I mean, think about just how well they played in this half, because they shot the ball really well in the first half. In the second half, they've been way better. 17 to 27, 63% from the field. They were actually only 50% from the free throw line, but uh, I, I think what has stood out to me the most about this half is the adjustments that Andy Newman was able to play to his team at halftime. They have only turned it over four times in the second half. That's been a point of emphasis. They pretty much played Matador's basketball outside of that, but they were just too loose and casual with the ball in the opening 20. Half two has been about as good as it gets. I think this is a blueprint Andy Newman's going to look at and probably give thumbs up to. And it's a game, too, where they're going to walk away from this with the win, and they're going to know, boy, we don't really need the three ball uh, because when we can control the glass like this and get to the rim, I mean, it's a team that they're only going to probably finish today. One of seven from the free throw line. About to walk out of Chicago with a win, making only two three-pointers. Modern basketball be gone. Allen Eikens taking the foul. Meanwhile, Deshaun Allen Eikens Four first half points. He's nearing his season average, which is 20, as he's got 17 right now heading to the line. Allen Eikens starting all 32 last year. One of those key pieces to bring some continuity for a program under new head coach. And now with 18 points. I don't think anybody with this team pick 10th of the Big West would be too surprised if they were able to rattle off significantly more conference wins than last season. Four of 16 last year feels like a benchmark they'll probably be. And Cardet takes a foul. Next stop free throw line for Wes. But for Chicago State, running out of time, just not enough offense in this second half. How about five for 26 from behind the arc? That feels like a, a loss waiting to happen. Yeah, it's been a bit of an eyesore offensively for them. They were taken out of their game after they really closed the first half well offensively. But you think the Matadors had that nice spurt. Timeout was called in less than two minutes by Gerald Gillian here in this half, and really the Matadors have had their way since. Wesley Cardet now with 19 points. A game high right now in what's almost certainly a losing effort. 
Cougars with only 30 seconds left, another foul. Just hasn't had much help. He's played well, hasn't shot it well from deep, but just not enough help today. So Chicago State in all likelihood will head to Cancun with a one and three record, starting with Southern Illinois on Thursday. By the way, Thursday, 84 degrees and sunny on the beaches of Mexico. Sounds nice. Why'd you have to do that? Why'd you have to go and do that? You know, it crossed my mind. I like to self-sabotage sometimes. Hey, these guys need the good weather, you right? You wanna look up the Chicago weather that day? I think it's gonna be pretty good. Here's Bostic at the charity stripe. We've had nice weather this I don't this think week we'll be eating the turkey on the beach. Thursday, 65 degrees and sunny. Max will take it. Wow. So for our Chicago listeners, get out on Thursday, soak up some sun. It's yeah. probably the last year we're going to see Cook the turkey for a few outside. <laughs> that sounds like a health hazard. <laughs> Bostic. Hits the back end. Probably don't. Stay in your kitchen. Make sure everything is nice that's, and That's sterile. why my dad cooks the turkey. Inside. Here's Jones. The breakaway flush. The Matadors fly into Chicago at dominant second half. And they'll fly out with a win. What an exclamation point. Cardet with Chicago State's last gasp. And a foul with eight seconds left. 12-point game. I'll tell you, Keontae Jones had to be absolutely thrilled uh, at this point in the game. That's an exclamation point. He looks behind him, looks behind him again. Nobody coming in the rear view, and he just hit that hammer. Put it on a poster. Keontae Jones, 13 points. He's in double figures for the second straight game. And Wesley Cardet. Now with 20 points for the second consecutive game. So in a losing effort, Cardet still stays above his season average. But the Cougars are going to drop to one and three as they head off to Mexico. Yeah, matches his total from the win versus Southern Indiana with 21 with that free throw. And Andy Newman's CSUN Matadors come into Chicago and win their second straight road game. Matadors with a dominant second half, 43 points in half two here in Chicago. And they take down the Cougars for the third time. I mean, what a performance. It was well-deserved. They led the majority of the way from the opening tip on. And uh, this team's offense was just clinical all day long, especially in closing time. Well, a phenomenal effort for the Matadors tonight as they improve to two and one. And the Cougars now are one and three. Max Toma, always a joy to do it with you, my friend. And alongside my partner, Max Toma, and our championship crew, Joe DiGiacomo, Chris Rouse, Mike Arcaro, Shaq and Mark Hawkins, Brian Kogut, Jack Heinrich, Darius Lawrence, Darius Jefferson, Jesus Mauricio. I am Sam Brief saying so long from Chicago. Where the Cougars had a hot start, but the Matadors come out with the win.